Hi, I'm Ryan with Case Escape, and in this video I'm going to show you how to place a photo onto the back of a case in Photoshop that maybe doesn't fit perfectly for printing right away. And so in my first example here, what I'm going to do is place a photo onto the template, and I'm going to add a standard flat background color onto it. So you locate your file on your desktop here. You go to File, Place. And now you'll see it appears right here. And so the way I want to lay this one out is, as I showed you in our previous video, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to go up here, type in 90. And so you'll see it fits pretty well right there in the middle of the case. And so I'm going to hit Enter and place it. Now, you'll see that there is white space here on the bottom and the top, and if I toggle off the preview here, you can see that the sides will also print white, standard. Now, most people don't want just a white case background, right? So what you're going to do is you can ask them if they prefer a certain color for this background color, or you can just go ahead yourself and select one. Now, I like this gray back here it'll match the picture very well. So what I'm going to do is go over and select my rectangle tool over here. Click on that once. And to select this exact color to duplicate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Option button. And you'll see it brings up a little dropper tool. And you click on that one time. Now, you've selected that color, you release the option button, you'll see it goes back to your rectangle tool, and you start up in the top corner of your image, you click and you drag all the way down to the bottom corner. And you'll see it's created that flat color across the entire image. Now, to get this in the background, beneath the picture, all you're going to do is come over here to your layers. You're going to click on this and drag it below the image file. And you'll see the image pops up right above it. And so now you've got your picture with a cool looking background color. And it's not plain white. You'll see that the sides also turn out this color as well. And so you'll flip it around, show it to your customer as a preview and get the green light and you're good. In this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to add text to a photo. So I'm going to take this picture we just made. We have the background color. We have an image for a customer right here in the middle. And let's say they want to add their name or their website to the bottom here. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head over here to our text tool, signified by a T, and click on that once. And you'll see a bunch of different options pop up here at the top. And so this would be right here. You can change the color of your text. Currently, the last color we selected in Photoshop was this background color. So if we use this to type right here, we're not going to see anything at all. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a color that will work. I go down here. You can see this is the same color right here in this box. And I'm going to click on that once. You'll see it brings up a color selector, color picker. And so I'm going to click up here in the corner and I'm going to get full white. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see the color for the text is adjusted to white. Now, you can select different fonts right here. Um, personally, I recommend not giving too many options to customers, otherwise they will take too much time. And so I start out already with a font that I like um, and with a size that's appropriate. So now when you're ready to add text, you go to the location you want to add it, and you click once, hold down, and drag a box to the size that you want your text to be. Now, you'll see the little cursor starts blinking, you're ready to type. So I'm going to type out our website here. And you'll see this font size is too large. I'm going to finish typing anyway, and I'm going to adjust the size after the fact. So 
to now here, I'm going to click Command A, select all, and now I'm going to change this font size. I'm going to drop it down to 18, see how that works. That's too large still, so I'm going to select it down even further, try 14. There we go. Now, you can see that this fits pretty well in the middle, and to position the text, what I'm going to do is select my arrow tool up here, click once, and now I'm going to use my arrows on my keyboard to move it into the position I want. And so that looks good. Now, what we're going to do to get this ready to print is we're going to hit this preview tool, turn it off, and then we're going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG file to our desktop like normal. So this is an iPhone 5 mat, case escape, banner photo with website. We're going to click save that to my desktop. I'm going to minimize Photoshop. And when I double tap on that, I'm ready to hit file, print, Now, to get this to print to the exact size that I want it to, I spent this whole time working with it into a template, correct? So I'm going to use the scale for printing as 100%, which will set it to the exact size as the template I used. Now, most printing programs will default as scale to fit, which means it's going to try and stretch your image out to a full size of a piece of paper. But for our printing purposes, every single time you print, you need to adjust to the 100%. So now I'm ready to go.